Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make my Hot Pockets from scratch. This is the perfect thing to make on a Sunday and then reheat the rest of the week for breakfast. Hot Pockets never get old, do they? For the dough, we'll need two and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoon of salt, one half cup of unsalted butter, one egg, one third cup of water, and one teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm going to start by adding the salt to the flour and then mixing it around. Now, I'm going to take the butter, the stick of butter that I chopped lightly, and I'm going to cut the butter cubes into the flour. Now that I've cut the butter into the dough so it's a little crumbly, I'm going to make a little well in the middle, and I'm going to add the cold water right in there. And then I'm going to add the egg and I'm going to add the vinegar right in the middle. So now I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to mix it all together. I'm going to push in the dough a little bit just to get it together. Now I'm going to take the bowl and I'm going to transfer the dough onto the countertop. And I'm going to start kneading it all together. You'll notice that the dough is a little dry, so since it's a little dry and not all coming together. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more cold water. That's all you have to do. And that way it'll loosen it up a bit. I'm going to lightly knead it. We really just want it to come together so we can form a ball it's starting to come together very nicely. See? See? When you're messing with dough, sometimes if it's a little too dry, just add just a splash more of water, and that'll do it. Okay, just going to knead it a little bit more. Hmm. This is looking good. Coming together very nicely. Now that I've formed a ball with the dough, I'm going to wrap it in plastic wrap and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for at least an hour. So I have my dough that I put in the fridge for an hour and I wrapped it into plastic wrap before I put it in the fridge. Now I'm unwrapping it and it's going to be a little hard so I'm going to flatten it as best I can. Okay, so here's the most important step. I always have a cup of flour that I put to the side because you need flour when you're working with dough. I'm going to put some flour on the countertop. I'm going to rub it all around the countertop because I want to roll my dough out to be very thin. And you don't want it to stick, which is why we're flouring the countertop. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the dough on both, I mean, I'm going to put the flour on both sides so the dough doesn't stick to the rolling pin or countertop. Now I'm going to press it out a little bit more because I want it to be, you know, pretty thin before I start rolling it. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the edges back together just a smidge. Now let's start rolling it. Start from the middle and bring it on out. Now we're gonna try our best to roll it into a rectangular like shape. That way it's easier when we start cutting it. Now that my dough is rolled out very thinly, I'm gonna cut the edges because I want it to be a perfect rectangle. Well, as perfect as we can get it. So we're gonna cut those corners to make it into the perfect rectangle. All right, one more corner. Perfect. It's not perfect, but it's as perfect as it's gonna get. So now, with the rectangle, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna eyeball it, and I'm gonna cut it in half to the best of my ability, All right? And then, after I've cut it into half, now I'm gonna make the best rectangles that I can make. Let me start with the middle. Starting with the middle, I'm gonna cut that down. Then I think I'm gonna do, that's perfect, okay. Cut it that way, and then just like that. Now everything's not perfect, but you have to understand when we make the hot pockets, all the squares are perfect, right? So this square might be a little smaller than that, but that doesn't matter because it'll be even when we make them um, at the end. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stack my hot pockets, right? But I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on them. If you don't sprinkle flour on them, they will stick together and then you will be so upset because the daggone thing stuck. So the so using some of the flour on the table, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stack them to the side. Let's make the egg wash. We need the egg wash for sealing them together and also brushing on top. So here's how I make my egg wash. I take an egg, I cracked an egg. I'm gonna beat the egg. And then I'm gonna add a splash of water. And I'm gonna beat it all together for about a minute. I made some scrambled eggs, so I have some scrambled eggs. I um, scrambled about five eggs, okay? I have some shredded cheddar cheese, and I cooked some bacon, and then I crumbled it. So, I'm gonna put it off to the side here so you can see how I make my Hot Pockets. I take a pocket right and I take my finger and then I put it around the edges of the pocket I like to do it first because if I do it first it's it's harder to do it after you've got everything in there so that's why I do it at first okay and then I'm gonna take some of my eggs. You don't wanna overstuff these Hot Pockets. Now, a dab will do ya. So I'm gonna take some eggs. Then I'm gonna take some bacon. Don't be shy with the bacon and definitely don't be shy with the cheese. That really makes your Hot Pocket, okay? So I got my egg bacon, and plenty of cheese. Now I'm gonna fold it together. 
while you fold it together, make sure you seal the edges, right? There you go. Now this is something that I like to do. After I seal my edges, for good measure, just to make sure nothing pops out there, got my edges sealed, right? Sealed my edges. Now I'm gonna take my fork and I'm just gonna like crimp it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna apply pressure all around. Yeah, it makes a design, but as I said, for good measure. Just to, make, just to make sure everything's sealed together. All right, so I'm gonna put the Hot Pocket on the baking pan for when we're ready to bake it. Now that I've put all of my Hot Pockets together, I'm gonna take the leftover egg wash that we used to seal them while we were making them. I'm gonna dip a brush in there and I'm going to brush it on top of all of my Hot Pockets. I have my oven set for 350 degrees. I'm going to bake them until they turn a nice golden brown. This is how my Hot Pockets look when I take them out the oven. I let them cook for 30 minutes. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like the way that I make my Hot Pockets from scratch, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.